Hello everybody, this is the Vikster and today we're going to talk about six days. Six days is based on the actual London embassy siege that lasted for six days in 1980. The thing I thought was a little bit, huh? was the fact that they were uh, from Arabistan, the uh, you know, terrorists that uh, you know, took over the embassy. The thing was, I thought that Arabistan was something they had made up. It felt like a made up name. It felt like something from a deleted scene from Team America World Police. Of course, Arabistan instead of Durka Durkestan. But I'm getting sidetracked there. The thing is that Arabistan actually exists. It is the Arabic speaking portion of Iran, which lies to the southeast of the country, if I'm not entirely mistaken. But um, how did this one play it out? What happened in London 1980 with the Iranian embassy? Let's find out. This is Six Days. So, as I said, the Iranian embassy in London gets taken over by a bunch of Arabistani terrorists that says that they are going to start killing people unless 91 of their you know, uh, political prisoners that sits in Iran gets released. And um, while Mark Strong, who you know, a place that the negotiator tries to talk to them and, you know, stall and delay until Jamie Bell and his fellow comrades from SAS uh, is going to, you know, try to take them out as soon as they get their, their OK from uh, Whitehall. So this movie is essentially what happened in uh, London during these six days and what happened in the embassy and, uh, you know, the preparations that uh, the SAS made. And this movie is very focused and is very compact. It does, however, throw in a little bit of a side plot with the uh, Kate storyline. She's a BBC reporter that followed up on the entire thing for, the, you know, the six days. It isn't, you know, something that impacts the story that much, but apparently it uh, was a pretty big deal at the time because, you know, the media coverage of uh, the uh, standoff at the embassy was uh, something that, you know, changed journalism in some way. I don't know how or what, but apparently it did. So I guess she'll have to be in this movie too. I think that this movie could have been more tense. I think this movie could have had more tension to it. And maybe it is restrained by the fact that it, it didn't happen anything, you know, very, very tense during these six days, or they simply were a bit British when they made this movie and, and opt to not ramp up the tension too much. I don't know. Anyway, I think Six Days is a very entertaining movie. I think this movie is a very fascinating movie. I think it is a fascinating part of history that not that many people, you know, know about. When we're thinking about embassy and hostage and Iran, we're always thinking about the hostage that was in Tehran that, you know, Ben Affleck had to get out in that fantastic movie, Argo. I think that Six Days is a well-made movie with some pretty good acting and a couple of characters you do care about. And it is a fascinating little part of history that not many people, as I said, knew existed. This is a one and done movie. This is not a movie that you will see multiple times. It is just a movie that you put on and thinking when you've seen it, that was a good, really good movie. It is not a movie that you don't see multiple times to find new small little details you haven't seen before or something like that. It's just a very focused, very well made and uh, fascinating movie that uh, because of its 94 minute runtime feels compact and feels that it doesn't, you know, flow out to a bunch of different stuff. Even though I would have liked to have more of the politics, you know, surrounding the things. I thought we could have gotten more of that and I think that could have benefited the movie a little bit. But I don't know. It, it is just a good movie, a really good movie. Would this movie have worked better as a documentary? Survey says maybe, but I'm still giving this movie 78 points. It is a very, very solid movie with some really great actors. I really like Jamie Bell and Mark Strong. This movie also gets high remarks for its great authenticity. That's always a good thing. So I'll see you next time from El Sovenser reviewing well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.